I think it's part of human nature to want to solve puzzles. Puzzles are solved everywhere in the world. Well, I believe I have the world's largest collection and library on puzzles. Well, I thought I'd give you a quick tour of my house. A crazy puzzle called Chinese Rings. The object is to remove the rod from the rings. I'm a pretty fast solver of this myself. It's based on the binary counting system. The world's first crossword. The first answer across is fun, because that's the name of the section of the New York world that it appeared in. This puzzle appeared on December 21, 1913. I got this on eBay about 10 years ago, and the dealer guessed that it was from the 1960s. It was actually much earlier than that. I have an advertisement for this bracelet in the back of this 1925 book. This is a classic puzzle it's called Get Off the Earth. 13 warriors before, turn the dial, you get 12, and the question is, which warrior disappeared, and where did he go? So let's head upstairs, and I'll show you some more things there. It's a letter from President Bill Clinton on my 50th birthday, and he wrote, Dear Will, keep the crosswords coming. Even when I can't finish them, they're the only part of the times that guarantees good feeling. The old wit cap, and it was published in London in 1811. This old closet has a lot of old crossword magazines. It contains the world's first Sudoku puzzle. Here are the original Simon & Schuster crossword books. A small collection of Russian rebus puzzles, or illustrated puzzles. Paperbacks and soft cover books over there. Foreign language puzzle books, organized alphabetically by language. Hardcover books, arranged alphabetically by author. Well, I hope you enjoyed the tour. And you know, if you have any old crossword magazines or old puzzle items sitting around that you'd like to find a new home for, let me know at the Times. I'd be very interested.